everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the Final Cut. Got a found footage indie horror film for you. Just came out this past week. And the film is called A God of Forsaken. Brought to us by Ali Akbar Akbar Kamal. And uh, uh, yeah, it's the story of uh, three individuals who want to make a documentary. You see, uh, Chad, his hometown, there was a video evidence of a woman coming back from uh, the grave, literally, at her funeral. She came out of the coffin, scared everybody half to death, and, well, uh, she's been lost. So they decide to take this opportunity, and this may be their big break for he and his filmmaking friends to shoot this documentary about what's going on in his small town. Well, when he gets there, yeah, soon things go into chaos as the woman does show up, and she seems to be healing everybody. But there also appears to be a side effect, and we see how all of this culminates into a bizarre happening in this small town where the documentary folks soon find themselves running for their life. Uh, you know, found footage, if you've followed this show at all, is, is hard for me. It really is. It's a hard sell for me. But this one caught me. It caught me well. First off, the way it opens and how they, uh, the guy, this guy is videotaping this funeral when the things happen. And the way it's directed and handled, I thought was really well done. Uh, they definitely put it on a wider scope as well than I expected. They get a large group of people. Usually found footage is reduced to, you know, a small group of individuals. But not in this case. It looks like they got most of their town in on making this film. And mad props to him because it added to the creepiness it added a bit to the realism and overall i just i loved loved the, how this t plays out now chad taylor plays chad taylor uh spelt slightly different and i enjoyed his character quite a bit to where he was the guy driving to make this documentary and getting his friends into it but as things play out things get a little too personal for him and he starts to question maybe they shouldn't be making this but their whole crew does dominic de rose plays dom love Loved this character as well, the, the voice of uh, suspicion and hesitation in making this film, this documentary that they had. Uh, Katie Fleming playing Katie. And uh, yeah, I uh, thought she did well too as this uh, kind of in between where she does want to make it but doesn't. And oh man, what they end up doing with her character near the the uh, big climax of this film was wow. Uh, uh, Mele Be Rondo, and I hope I pronounced it right, plays Lisa, the woman who is possessed. And wow, what a creepy performance from her. Not only in uh, just her uh, movements, but, uh, you know, just everything about her. She really exudes this real creepy, evil, uncertain. You just where she stands and yeah it explores all kinds of ideas like a uh, questioning faith you know questioning beliefs you know morals should they be filming this or not all of that runs the gambit through this in the documentary fashion where you do get some shaky cam in here so you're not going to avoid it with a film like this but they actually do very well in getting their shots making it feel grounded uh and yeah it, it really worked well with me similar to the last exorcism the first one i think it's in that vein and if you enjoy that film you're gonna enjoy this one uh better than i enjoyed it better than blair witch that's for sure uh so yeah check it out god forsaken it's out i believe on digital now and it's worth a watch especially if you're a found footage fan it's one of the better ones out there so thank you so much for listening to me ramble about films please check on our patreon if you haven't already a lot of low great tiers for reasonable prices and as well subscribe and all that here thank you so much as always for your support and until next time remember i keep that ticket stub